Hey YouTubers, what is up? It's me, John. Today I am playing Devil May Cry 4 Special Edition. Now you may be thinking, wait, not a, well, quite a while ago, you did Devil May Cry 1, and you never finished it. So why are you jumping to 4? Well, I'm jumping to 4 is because I the gayest game came out yesterday, and if I jump to it now, when I'm still really into it, I'll complete it. And the reason I didn't finish 1 was because my laptop broke. So with this, I'll uh, be going ahead and um, I will be not actually doing like the whole story of the game. I'll be playing, since Special Edition has multiple characters and there's no new game option once you've created a save, so I wasn't even going to do that. This is cool. Um, so I'm just going to be, uh, I've already beaten the game as Virgil, so I'm, but I'm, instead of doing the normal Nero and Dante, which is a normal game, because I'll do that after I've done Devil May Cry's 1 through 3, eventually. I'll be doing Lady and Trish through the game, because I haven't beaten them. And with Virgil, I have most of his stuff. With Nero and Dante, I have some stuff. And with Lady and Trish, I don't have anything, except one mission done. So we'll just go ahead and do this. And I'll go ahead and, since I pre-ordered the game, this is a normal outfit, I pre-ordered the game, so I got... Ladies, Devil May Cry 3 outfit, so I'm going to be rolling with that. And, uh... So just how much do you know about Sparta? The story goes that Sparta served as the feudal lord of the city long ago. The people who live there today take these legends as truth and worship them. Just like a god. They worship a demon as a god? Peaceful worship can't be condemned. But the real problem is the order. Lately, they've been running amok, catching demons, and have even butted in on some of my jobs. Uh, maybe they're starting a zoo. Not just demons. They've also been targeting devil arms, like the ones you have. Okay, then, a museum. So what? Well, what if they're in That's my favorite sword. Foul, and there's a diabolical plan behind these apparently random acts. Well, then. I'd have something to keep me occupied, and... Trish! Hmm. <sighs> Try not to keep us waiting, Dante. Yeah, yeah. Cut her here, man. That's not that's not cool. Don't be late for the party. I like how he's watching the entire time. Yep. This is gonna get ugly. Now, one of the differences about this game, when you play as Lady and Trish, uh, except for, you know, obviously that scene, you don't really get any cutscenes, it's just straightforward gameplay, and you won't see any of the story. So, let's say you want to wait and not see all the enemies you face and all the kind of spoils of what happens. You won't see any cutscenes, so you won't understand the story, but you'll see what I face. So, if you want to wait and until I do actual Devil May Cry 4, gonna have to wait a while but I'd recommend it so yeah uh, I have an extreme advantage since this is a save I've been working on like yesterday and today 
I have all the blue orbs and purple orbs, so my health and my devil trigger are already uh, maxed. Well, my health's not maxed out, but it's pretty close. So, yeah. So, he plays Lady during Nero's missions and Trisha's Dante's missions, so we'll just go ahead and jump right in. I have the tutorial on, so you'll be able to follow how to play. This is so different from when, uh, from fighting, uh, Dante's Nero, because, like, fight, when you fight him as freaking Nero, you have, like, a, you have a pistol. I mean, now I'm hitting him with a freaking rocket launcher. Go away. Meanie. I'm just breaking all these so I can get some more freaking money. And, yes, A is to jump. Whoop! Aha, <laughs> suck it. Hopefully the uh, game body is not too loud. If it is, I'll fix that for the next episode. So yeah, for these, you, all you just gotta do is just jump out of the way. And, yeah. So, you got dodge roll. It's just teaching you how to play the game, so if you don't know how to play, yeah. I wouldn't recommend if this if it's your first time playing Devil May Cry 4, and let's say you're playing, like, alongside or like after you see this um one recommend playing as lady and trish to start off with you're gonna want to play as uh that's awesome you're gonna want to play as nero and dante first because they're the actual story so yeah also one of the major differences between lady and any of the other characters is Lady is focused on long range. So, and she has three weapons. So she has pistols. Ow, 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 ow. Wow, that caused a massive frame rate problem. And she has a shotgun. And one of the, like things about I've noticed as just playing in the single level as her a lot of her moves are basically moves Dante uses in gunslinger <laughs> come on man all right then that's just level one is fighting Dante Cool. And this is on normal difficulty, just so everyone knows. So, we'll just go ahead and continue right on to the next mission. I don't remember what the names of the missions are, so... But yeah. So yeah, you won't see me buying many skills or items. Like, items I just occasionally buy. Battlestar. I only buy one item per time I visit this, this area. Um. Okay, that's pretty cool. Um. But yeah, I'm trying to save up so I can buy the rest of... What is it? Um, I'm trying to buy the rest of Dante's... Or not Dante, Nero... Or... <laughs> Virgil's skills. I'm trying to get the rest of his. The problem is, though, that... His now cost an extreme amount, so... Hopefully while playing this game, I'll be able to get enough... Uh, while playing in this save, I'll be able to, like, slowly but surely get enough to buy all of his moves. But yeah, so we just bought a couple moves, and we'll go ahead and go right on. Map. Lock on. I'm playing the game with an, ex uh, with a, uh, yeah, an Xbox 360 controller, so just so everyone knows. I really don't know how to play this game with a... How, or how you would play this game with a, um... I really don't know how you would be able to play this game with the freaking that one kind of controller. The thingy majigger. I can't word. Um. I like that in the corner where it has like the gun. Um. 
Mouse and uh, keyboard. That's what I'm thinking of. How, why did I forget what that is? Okay, press B or A to investigate. So, yeah. Kick jump, which is you just kick off the wall. And I bought speed, so now she starts running like crazy. Ooh, that bag. She starts running really fast if uh, I constantly keep doing that. So I had that. Okay, that's I bought that too. So. That was cool. Alright. Boop, boop. And I'm used to freaking how Virgil plays, so this is really weird. Doo doo. And you gotta make sure you collect all the red orbs you can, because you're gonna wanna buy all the blue and purple orbs you can possibly get. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention, um... Lady's human, so she doesn't have a devil trigger. So... Yeah. Just kinda noteworthy. It's kinda good to know that. Lag, though. But, um... Yeah, instead of Devil Trigger, what she does is when you hit the button to go into Devil Trigger, yeah, camera, um, is instead, oh, wait, look, there's a green orb right there. I didn't know that. Instead, what she does is she, uh, Time to go to work. all right then, is instead she, um, she throws a bunch of grenades all over the area. And inflicts, da and inflicts damage to anything close to her. I don't know what happens. Like, I know that happens when you have three circles. But I don't know what happens if you have more than that. Also, um, since I've collected all the blue orb fragments. And pretty much almost all the items in the game already. Except for like some by secret mission. Because. Grapple. Okay. Cool. Um, yeah, see, that's, that's, that's how I thought they were going to do, uh, Lady traversing these. Anybody else experiencing the lag? Um, so, since I've gotten most of the items, you will not be seeing where they are. I'm, pr I will eventually make a video, like, via the PlayStation 4 version, or not the PlayStation 4 version, the older version, because all the fragment locations and secret missions are the same. So, secret mission right here. See this little wall, this paper thing? Yeah, whenever you see that, that's a secret mission. So, just so you know. Oh, ow. That's not nice. That's cool. Grenades! I guess maybe it does more damage on when there's higher levels of Devil Trigger, I guess. Or slash. Whatever I guess it's called for her. So yeah, we'll be playing the game as Lady. That'll be interesting and different compared to everybody else because everybody else fights somewhat similar with different mechanics but kind of neat it'll be cool I was trying to do that's not working out come here goodbye a lot of damage for just having a, a three hit combo but yeah since lady's mostly long range focused so oh my god 
normally it does not lag this much. Well, it didn't most of the time I play the game, so. Wait. Oh. And these things right here, if you don't know, by hitting them, they give you red orbs, or red, red orbs, red orbs, not Resident Evil. So the more you hit it, the more you get. So, yeah. There'd be a blue orb fragment right here, but since I've already gotten it, it won't be there. Um, I'll just continue on moving through the level. So, yeah, I've been playing this game. I played it a lot last night because it came out yesterday at 9. And I was totally going to play it like at 6 in the morning, but then I was like, it wouldn't let me. Because I already preloaded the game, it wouldn't let me play it. So I was like, why aren't you going to let me play it? And I looked it up, and it comes out in three hours. Oh, thanks a lot. So, yeah. Enemies. Stylish rank. I really don't focus on stylish rank, so. Cool, you can chain the, all sorts of different types of weapons. Yeah, you just have to hit that thing over and over again, and it'll it'll do its it'll start spinning. Hit the button. I'm skipping all the little tiny short cutscenes because there's not really. If I, uh, when I played as Virgil, there wasn't really much. There was a couple cutscenes that actually like showed him being there, but. On. Whoop, whoop. No. Ooh, that was close. I thought I was about to get hit. It's a good thing that my attack comes first. That's not nice. Well, one of my questions is like, okay, so the opening cutscene showed um, Lady and Trish fighting off all these kind, of, these kind of these scarecrow demons off. Okay, that makes sense. But why the freak were they over there? Like, if I remember correctly, a different type of enemy showed up. Are they? Are these like the new like worldwide kind of demons that appear? Like each game has a different kind of worldwide demons. So what's going on? All right. Oh, so one of these things. Uh, I don't have to break them since I've already done pretty much all of these. Now, how you do these is basically what you got to do is you gotta keep hitting them to raise your style. And as you get higher the style, like see I got to B, uh, they'll break and you get a blue orb fragment from them. So you're gonna wanna make sure you do all of those. If playing is Nero and Dante, there's a couple of them. Ones that are purple slash blue and ones that are red. All right, our first boss, Burial. Uh, depending on your character, only certain characters can break them. So, for example, uh, red ones, only Dante can break. Uh, blue slash purple ones, only Nier can break. Ow. Uh, so, yeah, just want to make sure I get that across. Uh, but if you play as, like, Lady... I don't know if Lady and Trish are like the same thing so you have to have certain characters to be able to big ones oh yeah so grenades
Run away. Run away. Run away. That explosion can hurt you. Look at that lag. Ooh. Nope. Run away. Pecking, da pecking damage. Pecking order. Ooh. This move seems to be doing most of the damage. I like how she's a mostly long range character, and yet I'm still using for her for short range attacks. Ow! Not nice. Suck it. Ow. There we go. Right before she was about to hurt her, it was about to hurt me again. So there we go. And that's first, uh, that's the second boss of the game. Honestly, you're really your first, because Dante's pretty damn easy. Um, yeah, long range character. Use it for short range. So wait, I wonder if... I'm just like... Oh, okay, I'm just trying to see if there's like something you can press. You press and hold the swing button will something special happen all right then well thank you guys for watching this will be the first part and i'll see you guys in the next video see ya